Hello friends, continuing along in our GABA series, today I wanted to tell you guys about how GABA and the renin angiotensin system interact. The renin angiotensin, uh, please excuse my voice by the way, I'm a little sick also. The renin angiotensin system is the system, the system that we try to manipulate when we have hypertension or high blood pressure. And they are, it's the system also that's affected by angiotensin receptor blockers, by ACE inhibitors, by calcium channel blockers, and so on. The first thing I wanted to tell you guys is that after exercise, the hypotension that comes from after exercise where your blood vessels relax and so on, uh, that comes from an arginine vasopressin response. And that response is not due to endorphins, endorphins being the natural opioids in our bodies, but it's actually due to GABA transmission after exercise. The second thing that I wanted to tell you about the renin angiotensin system and GABA is that if you use an ACE inhibitor instead of an ARB, which I always recommend, an ARB personally, that's what I take, you are actually producing less GABAergic uh, transmission in your body than somebody like me. Why? The angiotensin 2 type 2 receptor, which is, so just to explain a little bit ahead of time, the ACE inhibitors, they prevent the uh, development of angiotensin type 2. So basically, ACE inhibitors prevent signaling at two receptors. One is called AT1 and one is called AT2. Angiotensin uh, uh, 2 actually agonizes both of these receptors. Now, an angiotensin receptor blocker only blocks the AT1 receptor, leaving the AT2 receptor to be agonized by angiotensin 2. ACE inhibitors stop the whole thing. It turns out the AT2 receptor agonism there increases GABAergic activity. So the ACE inhibitors actually reduce GABAergic activity. Not only that, but the uh, ARBs actually increase GABAergic activity because by blocking AT1, they leave more angiotensin 2 to signal at AT2. And that signaling at AT2 increases that inhibitory GABAergic activity. I hope, th I hope this was helpful for you guys. This is a short video because my notes on the GABAergic system are divided into sections as they relate to our biology. So for example, this section was the renin angiotensin system. There are other sections like on growth hormone, on sex steroids, and on all other kinds of things. I hope you guys tune in for the rest of the series and I wish you a great day.